Well, for more on this story, let's bring in Ricardo Boretsky. He's the head of the International Cyber Policing Organization and the president of European Center for Information Policy and Security. Good to speak to you, Ricardo. So what are the charges against these alleged hackers and how big of an attack are we talking about? Well, here's the thing about cyber. First of all, we have to understand that cyber threats is here to stay and cyber uh, threats is here to increase. Um, precisely what is these charges is unclear to us at CyberPol. However, I can only say this, that um, th there's a lot of questions about whether China is deliberately attacking the U.S. I think we've got to get this in proper perspective, and there's a big risk of uh, some officials uh, pulling this out of current perspective uh, that uh, poses a risk not only to the international community, but also to the cyber industry. So U.S. officials and the White House described this as China's relentless drive to steal American business secrets. Do you agree this is an on and is this an ongoing issue? Well, yes, the thing is that I think people must understand this. Because if, if China wants to attack the U.S. and steal information, they're very capable of doing that in, in literally seconds. So why would they go through these kind of extents? I think we have to understand what's going on here. And I think the U.S. is reluctant to give us proper information. Um, the danger is particularly in the fact that China is a very big ally in the global community. And threatening China with the cyber world at this current climate is a very dangerous thing to do. But, Ricardo, I mean, UK, New Zealand and Australia have also joined the U.S. condemning China on this global hacking campaign. So you believe China is innocent? I believe that this is out of perspective. This is called what we count counterintelligence. And the biggest problem here is that the community don't understand what's going on. China, again, I repeat, they are so capable of the technology. If they truly want to attack the U.S., it would take them seconds to attack the U.S. The question is what we should ask is, why is this blown out of perspective? It's pretty easy to make it look like China. We need to see the proof. Let them show us the proof. We haven't seen the proof of any of these accusations. We've just seen talk talk. Show us the data, the actual time stamping, and show us the legal proof that can be used in the court of law. Well, we have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for sharing that inside Ricardo Boretsky with us.